Hi, good morning to my students. So we are now in the third episode of our discussion in science and today we will be discussing about intensity and magnitude of an earthquake. So what is intensity and what is magnitude? So how can we uh, identify the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake? So magnitude versus intensity. So the magnitude of an earthquake refers to the energy released at the source of an earthquake. It is measured by Richter or moment scale, while intensity refers to the effect or damage caused by an earthquake. It is measured by modified Mercalli scale. The magnitude of an earthquake is positively related to each intensity. So basically, there is a relationship between magnitude and intensity. So the intensity matters on the strength of the so this uh, this picture shows the information about the Richter scale. 0 to 1.9, so can be detected only by the seismograph. Then 2 to 2.9, hanging objects may swing. Then 3 to 3.9, comparable to the vibrations of a passing truck. Then 4 to 4.9, may break windows, cause small or unstable objects to move. 5 to 5.9, furniture moves chunks of plaster may fall from walls. Then 6 to 6.9, damage to wobble structures, severe damage 7 to 7.9, buildings displaced from foundation, cracks in the earth, underground pipes broken. Then 8 to 8.9, the bridges destroyed, few structures left standing. Then 9 and over, near total destruction waves moving through the earth visible with now the modified Hammer Kali scale. So intensity 1, so observed effect is felt by only few people under a very special circumstances. Intensity 2, felt by only few people at rest, especially on the upper floors of buildings. Intensity 3, felt noticeably indoors, especially on upper floors of buildings. Intensity 4, felt indoors by many people outdoors by a few, some may awaken. Then 5, Felt by nearly everyone, many awaken vicious and windows break, then plaster cracks. Intensity 6, felt by everyone, many frightened and run outdoors, so heavy furniture moves. 7, so everyone run outdoors, slide to moderate damage in ordinary structures. Intensity 8, considerable damage in ordinary structures, chimneys and monuments of wool. Intensity 9, Considerable damage in all structures, ground cracks, underground pile, and intensity 10, most structures destroyed and bent, landslides occur, water splashes over banks. Intensity 11, few structures left standing, bridges destroyed, road shares in the ground, underground pipes break. Then, intensity 12, damage total, waves seen on ground, surfaces, objects thrown in air. That was the intensity and the observed effects modified Mercalli scale. But in this activity, but in this session, our objective is to differentiate only the intensity of an earthquake from its magnitude. We will look into the difference between the intensity and the magnitude of an earthquake. So our first activity entitled, What Happened? And then the materials that we will be using is pictures of earthquake together with their corresponding data. So, example, the number of death, damages, and shit. Our procedure, first, compare the following pictures based on the recorded magnitudes and damages. The first picture is the Iran earthquake happened on June 21, 1990. Then the Japan earthquake happened on March 11, 2011. So, 7.4 magnitude struck Iran near the Caspian coastline. Then 700 villages destroyed. So, 200 million dollars for reconstruction, 20,000 death, 60,000 injured, 100,000 homes destroyed. Next, the Japan earthquake, strongest to hit Japan, so it is 9.0 magnitude, one of the most expensive earthquake ever, 235 billion dollars. It triggered a tsunami and floods, then it knocked down at Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant 15,884 deaths 6,148 injured and 129,225 buildings were destroyed 
So which earthquake has the highest magnitude? So which earthquake has the greatest impact or damage? Okay, the next activity is which is the worst? And the materials is the list of the earthquake with their corresponding magnitudes and damages. So our procedure, first analyze the attached data of the following earthquakes. Arrange them according to increasing magnitude. First, the magnitude 7.5 earthquake in Luzon core on November 30, 1645. The magnitude 8.0 earthquake in Mandanao occurred in August 17, 1976. Next, magnitude 7.8 earthquake in Northern and Central Luzon happened on July 16, 1990. Next, magnitude 7.2 earthquake in Bohol happened on October 15, 2013. Then, magnitude 7.3 earthquake in Kasiguran happened on August 12, 1968. So, we are going to arrange them according to their increasing magnitude. Okay, these are the data of the earthquake damage. So kindly read this data for you to answer the following uh, guide questions. Okay, which earthquake has the highest magnitude? Which earthquake has the lowest magnitude? Which earthquake do you think has the greatest impact or damage? Okay, number four, based on the ideas from the above activity, differentiate intensity and magnitude of an earthquake. So, after performing the activity, let us reflect on this question. Knowing the possible threat of earthquakes to human lives, so what are some precautionary measures that you can suggest that we have to observe before, during, and after the event of an earthquake? So, you are going to make a ladder like this, so before, during, and after. So, thank you for listening and watching. So, I hope that this activity will be beneficial for you to understand the difference between the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake. So, have a good day. God bless everyone.